Hi, I'm Angie. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little card for Halloween. I did it on the weekend and I thought it turned out so sweet that I really wanted to share it with you. So let's get started. So the first thing I did was start with a card base in black cardstock and this is eight and a half by four and a quarter and it's scored at four and a quarter. That makes a four and a quarter inch square card. And I wanted to emboss the front with this Cuddlebug embossing folder and it's kind of like a wood grain texture but it's a little bit spooky too. So that's the first step. So you want to start with your A plate at the bottom and then a B plate and I only want to emboss the front of the card. So I'm just lining it up at the top and on both sides to make sure it's straight and I'll run that through the cuddle bug with the other B plate on top. Here's it for another card. I want to do the spooky drippy border at the bottom and I'm using the Martha Stewart drippy goo punch for that. So I'm just going to punch that out at the bottom of my card just like that. Now in order for that to show up nicely I want to border that with some white cardstock and this is four and a quarter by one inch and a little bit on the white cardstock. And to line it up, I just line it up along the bottom of the card and close the card. The next step is to make this embossed stamped image where the treat cup is going to go. And that's from the Sweet Center's stamp set from Stampin' Up. I'm using this Halloween set. I'm going to stamp that with Versamark on white cardstock and then use my black embossing powder to emboss it. So I just want to first rub that with the embossing buddy. And that just allows you to emboss it where only where you want to. This is a large stamp, so I'm going to ink it up upside down. in the black embossing powder. This black powder is really rich. It embosses so nicely. I'm going to just heat that up with my heat gun. That really gives a nice effect. Now I'm just going to punch out the center of the stamp. That's the one and three quarter inch circle punch. Just like that. And now I'm going to just trim around the edges. So now I have my base and I have my embossed image in the center. Now I'm going to layer that with some designer series paper. This is Peach Parfait and that's three and a quarter by three and one eighth. And some white cardstock that's three and one sixteenth by two and fourteen sixteenths. You can just eyeball it too. So, so that makes the layers and then this is going to go on top. So I'm just going to adhere those together. And I want to center this right in the middle. I'm not, not going to push it right down because I want to make sure that it's going to be centered properly so that my tree cup is right in the middle. That looks good. So I can push that down. And that's going to show underneath the little treats. Now I have the Stampin' Up! Sweet Treat Cups. I showed you a card before with the heart ones. These ones are just the plain circle ones. 
So the stamp set has other stamps for a heart one and a Christmas ornament and a flower and a hot air balloon. So it's a really cute set. I'm actually going to remove the adhesive on the bottom. It's ready to go. And I've got some Skittles candy to go in the middle. Little orange Skittles. And I didn't want to use too many because I want the little eek your sweet to show underneath. Let's put the treat cup on. Just make sure it's centered. That looks really good. So I can push it down. Now I'm just going to put some adhesive on the back of this. For the inside of the card, I have a 4x4 piece of white cardstock that I'm going to put on there. That just allows you to write a message. You could use white gel pen too. And then with a little piece of black cardstock, I'm going to punch out a little spider. A little black spider. This is a Creative Memories punch. him up in the corner just like that so that's the inside of the card and now I'm going to use sticky strip to adhere this to the front of the card just because it's textured I find that the sticky strip holds it better okay now we can adhere this to the front of the card Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do is just round the corners. I'm using the quarter inch edge of the corner chomper. I love this because it goes through everything all in one go. Just like that. And that's it for the card. There's a lot of techniques used on there, but it's really worth it. It's so cute. So thanks for watching, and I hope you'll try the Sweet Treat Cups and make a Halloween card.